Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is another fun yes or no pick a card video. So this is all about you choosing one specific question that you wanted to know the answer yes or no. Whether you are waiting for a yes or no to come to you or if you're waiting if you should say yes or no to something. So you can choose one of the piles. And today is all about the tarot cards so i'm just going to choose them and shuffle with you guys i already prayed and shuffled on them and i will choose a couple of oracle cards at the end as well but i'll just shuffle and choose them while you're here like always the details of the cards i use and my details if you want to contact me will be on the description below and i'm always happy to hear from you thanks very much for subscribing and leaving comments I'm always really happy to answer back and if you wanted to contact me directly that's fine as well so just just let me know if you resonated in some way okay so this is going to be pile number one two and three so just concentrate on which one you want to choose go with your first choice your gut feeling it's most likely the right one so the timestamp will be below thanks very much for watching Group number one, if you chose this beautiful pile here, this is the Arcanum Tarot and um, I already shuffled on them, but I'll shuffle again. So if you just wanted to concentrate on the question, yes or no, okay. Just choose the cards here for you, right. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, have the Empress, also the Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. All right, group number one, beautiful cards here for you. Maybe for some of you, this has been a little bit of a struggle of how you have been feeling, or if, um, if you're waiting or if you're trying to make a decision, but straight away here, it's a chance to go with your passions and uh, go with what some of you maybe this is a career question and uh, also money related but even if it's a passion regarding someone a love relationship any question really so the passion is here and the, also the balance okay so with this six of pentacles here is uh, about balancing what you really want and feeling really good about yourself feeling really grounded feeling um, good with your decision and it's coming to you this five of pentacles here is about it's all about seeing uh, the big picture and uh, with the queen of swords here it's about being able to cut away a little bit of what is not serving you in this situation and definitely again with the page of wands here and the ace of wands Go with your passion, what you really want. So this is really a yes for you, okay, group number one. But you really need to pay attention of how you're feeling regarding the situation and uh, seeing the big picture, maybe seeing the help coming from a way that you didn't expect. If you were, if this is something you're waiting for someone to come to you, maybe this is someone that you're not really expecting or it's from an area that you you really should look around and see the help is right there so the answer is right there around you already so for some of you you may already know what this means but you do need to cut away some things that are not serving you with this queen of swords here and to to have progress in this situation it's definitely a yes but then you will feel good about this because it's all about going with your passions with the things you really want so it's a yes coming to you or you you should say yes to this because you're going to be really happy with the resolution just look around the the solution the help it could be just around the corner and you're just not seeing but it's all about feeling grounded and feeling good about this it's definitely 100 percent going with your passion and what you want so this person is coming to you if you're waiting for yes or no to come from someone is definitely coming it may not be the way you're expecting okay with this five of pentacles here but just look around it's it's, it's already there 
Okay, that's my feeling here. We just needed to cut away maybe some fear, some uh, feelings regarding the situation. But it's a yes, okay? So just uh, no, uh, cut away fears and the worries and maybe something that's not serving you in this situation. Someone, situations, people, places, attitudes that uh, could stop this yes to come to you. So just look around a little bit. But it's definitely a yes, okay? I do have uh, the uh, the oracle card here for you. So I'll just take another uh, an oracle card here to complement this. Okay. Right. I got here the boundaries card. All right. And it's saying here, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay. I think going together here with the, the queen going together with the Queen of Swords here. So there could be some boundaries here for you to be able to get this yes coming to you and this situation moving forward. But it's definitely a yes, okay? Just maybe some boundaries, like I said, cutting away something that's not serving you in this situation. But it's definitely a yes coming to you or you could say yes to this and it's going to be a good outcome. With this, the with the Empress here and the Page of Wands, you should be really happy with the situation, grounded, feeling like... Um, like protected and secure okay so you will be really happy with the outcome okay definitely a yes for you group number one and um, you should be really happy with the resolution if you resonated with you in some way do let me know i'm gonna be really happy to hear from you but thanks very much for being here with me group number one beautiful outcome coming to you thanks for watching group number two if you chose this beautiful pile here this is the crystal vision oracle and uh, i already prayed and shuffled them i'll just shuffle a bit more here for you okay and just giving you straight away the cards ten of cups we have the swords also the empress King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. All right, group number two. Interesting here, these cards are similar. These last two cards are similar to group number one in a way, but it's a bit different here because I feel for some of you, this could a little bit, you feel like a bit stuck making this decision or waiting for this to come and. Um, just maybe it's taking some time and you're waiting for a while for this to to find a resolution to come your way but you really don't need to worry here it it, it could be just the feeling and the way you you feeling right now because like i say it could be taking some time but you really don't need to worry here group number two it is a yes for you with this ten of cups here it's like 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 a wish coming true however the ten of cups means for you if it's family relationships career the ten of cups of fulfillment is coming your way okay with the king of wands here is all regarding your passions being really happy and uh, accomplished with the, the resolution if if you want to say yes or if there yes if you're waiting the yes is coming to you and this may be leaving few things behind as well okay so it's not gonna be uh, just a simple yes and that you're gonna be like I say, you're going to be really happy, but there will be a few things that you're going to leave need to leave behind with this uh, Six of Swords here. There's going to be like letting go of a few things from your past. It could be fears and uh, could be if it's career, it could be a, a, a previous job. It could be like a relationship, but it's just the way it's, it's progressing here for you. You don't need to worry. This is just a feeling. It's just moving this way. OK, the cards today. And uh, it's all about uh, stepping away, looking around you. You can move from this feeling, from the situation. You will maybe feel a little bit stuck when you have to to make this move. But this will be the best thing. When this yes come to you, you'll be able to let go and be really happy and fulfilled with your with what you want. With the the Empress here and the Page of Cups is really all about yourself feeling grounded, feeling like a 
Mother Earth really feeling really protected and happy with yourself, with your accomplishments. And the Page of Wands here, it's all about your passions. So this is coming to you big time here with this Ten of Cups. You, you know, um, it's, the yes is coming to you or you can say yes and you're going to have a beautiful future here, beautiful progress coming. To need to have to pass through this step, you know, this, this uh, moment here of moving a little bit and letting go of something. So it could be that some of you will be moving with this relationship or job or any depending of your question really and uh, it, like it could be not for all of you but for some of you at least there will be some kind of moving and letting go of the past or letting go of a previous relationship or or a job like I said there will be, but definitely it's a yes to you it's just not straightforward it's gonna be some movement and some progress and uh, really a way for you to grow in this situation but the way you're gonna uh, receive here the ending the result is really really happy you should be really accomplished and feeling good about yourself but make sure with the ones here it's all about what you want what your passions what your desires it's don't uh, compromise I feel here with this one so when you are able to let go of this feeling and uh, be able to understand what you needed to move from the doors will really open for you okay so it's really a yes but there will be some progress like i say there will be some steps for you to take we do have uh, some oracle cards here as well i already prayed and shuffled on them just a, a quick one for us to to have um, another you know something to help us clarify here we have here the break the chain Okay, break the chain, the messages, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. I think it goes really together with this here, very interesting. So it's just all about breaking the patterns, anything from the past here, right? That could be stopping you from this yes to come to you or for you to be able to say yes in progress. It's, it's about healing as well. So from the past, from any wounds, from any any hurt that you could have had in the past and rewrite in the future. So this is here, the future here with you as the Empress and Page of Wands, like being free and doing what you want. It's a really beautiful future. You just needed to break from the, you know, the any patterns or anything that didn't help you so far for this yes to come to you and for you to progress. Okay, really beautiful here, group number two. We're just going to have to go through some healing and progress here, but it's happening to you, all right? It's happening. It's coming for you. So don't worry. It's just uh, progress as a stepping for you. The Ten of Cups here is really showing. It's going to be, it's a beautiful connection. It's a beautiful future, okay, for you. So just uh, you need to read as a as a full here the cards, right? But don't worry. Just... Uh, Go with your heart, with your passions, with the things you want. And you know it's a healing process, but it's a yes coming your way. Or you can say yes to this and you're going to be really happy and accomplished. All right. Just uh, some progress and some path, with the patterns that need to break. All right. So if it resonates with you in some way, group number two, let me know. I'm going to be really happy to hear from you. But leave me a comment, send, send me a private message if you prefer. But uh, let me know, okay, if it resonated. And if it did, I'm going to be really happy to hear from you. So thanks very much for watching. Group number three, if you chose this beautiful Green Witches Tarot, I already prayed upon them and shuffled them. But I'll shuffle a little bit more here for you, okay? And um, I do have some Oracle cards at the end. So your cards are... The Page of Chalices, the Eight of Chalices, the Witch or the Magician. We also have the Oak King or the Hanged Man. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Tree of Chalices. Nice cards here for you. Group number three. The the page of, of chalices or the page of cups here, it's all about your emotions and being able to express yourself properly. OK, 
Okay, so the eight, the eight of uh, chalice is here. Interesting, being able to to see the things with a different perspective here and the options that are coming towards you. Okay, and be able to choose wisely. And the magician is all about uh, being able to manifest, having some time for yourself here and balance and celebration so this is definitely a yes here for you group number three is really interesting that it's gonna be some kind of progress here going on today the cards are reading like this okay depends each day is different of course but it's all about you being able to express yourself so we take some time to to take this decision if you wanted to say yes or no or the, it, it is coming to you, but it's a little bit slower, okay? But it's going to come anyway. There will be a balance for you, for some of you regarding money as well, and career, but the love for sure. So balancing like back and forward, uh, being able to, to be more balanced in a relationship as well, and having that uh, give and take. And don't get illusions and don't uh, um, go with uh, the first... Thing that come into your mind or the first option because it is about choosing wisely and uh, being able to manifest what you want so it's definitely coming your way but i feel like you are the one who's actually making this come to you so you are manifesting this there is some work to do on yourself like um in a way that you're going to take some time for yourself before moving forward before this come to you before you say yes or before the yes come to you but it's definitely coming because the celebration here it's time here with it, it's here with the, the tree of chalices. The celebration is gonna come your way. You're gonna be really happy with this, and it's gonna it's just something that it needs to balance with your life at the moment. You do need it to manifest this in some way. So it is coming to you, or you or you can say yes to this, or the yes is coming to you. But you are manifesting. You're the one who will need it to communicate and be more open with uh, your your emotions and your feelings. Take time for yourself to understand what you actually want before uh, moving forward. And uh, don't get any illusions. Make sure you choose what you want. It's all about you manifesting what you want. So don't compromise. Don't just go with the first thing that comes your way. It is coming in a way that is really going to be balanced and, and really good for you that you're going to be happy with. And you're going to be able to celebrate and, and have gatherings and, and friends and, and loved ones around you. But you are manifesting this big time here with the witch, which is also the magician in, in all the decks. So it, it's about taking time here, group number three, to make sure of what you want. Because you're going to be able to communicate and actually bring this into your reality. Okay, so it's really about not having illusions and choosing what you really want. And like I say, don't compromise because you are the one manifesting this. So don't manifest anything that uh, you don't want because when we put our minds into something whether it's good or bad this is what's gonna manifest all right so make sure you put your mind into what you really want and uh, don't compromise like i say and it's coming your way and i do have uh, the oracle cards here as well like i said they already shuffle but i'll shuffle a bit more here just to take one more to clarify here for us the card here is the protection card and the message is call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval okay call back call back your power all right very interesting here with the magician with the witch card here which is all about manifestation is about your power so you have the power to bring this into your reality to manifest this so it's definitely coming your way but I want you to really put your mind frame into this, uh, you know, this answer that you want or this yes to come to you. I want you to really meditate on it, think about it and celebrate even before the celebration time comes. All right. So the manifestation is all about being happy already with something that didn't even come your way yet, but believing that it's there for you. So this is really happening for you. Group number three, but you do take your time, take time for yourself to meditate, see things in a different from a different perspective, and you're gonna really be able to manifest this. It's all the powers in your hand here, okay? Cut any cords, anything that are not serving you at the moment and is not gonna that is not helping you to manifest this. 
Okay, it's all about soul retrieval, which is it goes together here with the the Oak King, which is the Hanged Man as well. It's all about uh, having time for yourself, meditation, seeing things in a different perspective, and uh, take some time for this to come. So it may not come like falling into your lap straight away, but you are manifesting this, and it's definitely coming. Okay, it's definitely a yes, coming your way big time here, group number three. But you are manifesting. You have to put some work into this. And you are manifesting, okay? Communication as well. If it's re regarding other people, if it, it, you needed to have someone else involved with this, communication is key here with the page of uh, chalices. And um, make sure it's it's regarding to what you want and you're manifesting, okay? You call back your power because you have the way to bring this yes to you or you can say yes and it's going to be a beautiful future. You can see you celebrating here in this card, okay? Very interesting, very um, big, powerful uh, time here for your group number three. But the yes is coming your way, okay? Just put some work into it, put your mind into it, and you are manifesting. You are the magician, you are the witch, all right? You can manifest this one. You have the power here. Call back your power, okay? Very, very beautiful cards here for your group number three. And if it resonated with you in some way, do let me know, and I'm going to be really happy to hear from you, okay? Thanks very much for being here with me, group number three.